Hi everybody, uh, welcome in the next episode of Avenue Media Weekly. Today we're hosting Łukasz Kosuniak, marketing automation specialist, B2B lead uh, generation expert. It's a pleasure, hi. So first maybe I'll ask you about what's the most important thing in marketing automation for you and for your company's mm -hmm. model business, yeah. right? The main difference you see before and after deploying marketing automation that marketers who, who knows, who understand marketing automation are capable to discuss with the board or the, the directors based on numbers, not based on feelings. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the, I, 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 I call it the difference between PowerPoint and Excel. Previously, there was a PowerPoint creation, uh, ideas, feelings, etc. Very difficult to really uh, move it to the, you know, reporting level. Mm -hmm. After marketing automation, there is, a, of course, still the creation part, but there is the connection between your marketing efforts and the sales results, which makes you accountable for the first, but also visible as a value mm -hmm. driver, not the cost driver. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's the main difference. Could you tell that the marketing automation is something between psychological behavior and the statistics? It's like the mixture of these two components? Yeah. Actually, it, it helps you connect all of the uh, values and actually manage it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because you can observe the behaviors, influence the behaviors, but what is what is important that you see, you can calculate, you, cal you, you, you see the numbers, how the behaviors are affecting some, you know, mo business models or KPIs, etc. Mm -hmm. It's all, uh, as all digital marketing, very measured, you are bringing the numbers, mm -hmm. you are not bringing the idea. You, you can present the idea, but you are capable to show the numbers just right away after the year. Mm -hmm. So this is like the hard data for our marketers and salespeople to show to the market, okay, here we are and we can expand in different directions. Right? Exactly, and you, 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 can, you can present it in a, in a way which is understandable by people who are colorblind, basically. We mm -hmm. call this, you know, CFO. They don't really care about PowerPoints and mm -hmm. your creations. They care about the business result and you can bring it. You know, it's like a common language between sales, marketers and board members, mm -hmm. especially the, 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 the financial, the CFO. Mm -hmm. For the interview, we've talked about the social selling in terms of business to business. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised that you can talk about social selling mm -hmm. in business to business, which should be anti-social at all, right? Yeah, how, do you, yeah, yeah. how do you think about social selling in B2B? When you look at the uh, you know, uh, business selling, it's all about relations. So the question is, is there any tool, any platform which will help you build the relations and the, you know, and real relations, not just like a spam relation. Hey, I got this to sell and maybe you will buy it. No, uh, the sellers were avoiding social uh, networks because they were afraid to be treated as uh, spammers, mm -hmm. basically, yeah? And Things change when the technology vendors realize that there is a need to really uh, employ social uh, culture, digital social uh, networks into the selling process. And then LinkedIn uh, deployed the uh, sales navigator, mm -hmm. yeah, which is helping you address very specific people, even outside of your network, but instead of selling, build the relationship mm -hmm. yeah? so you can share some valuable insights and then you are starting to build this kind of relations which is based on a value exchange yeah? mm -hmm. so in instead of just sending the offer you you can really show your expertise mm -hmm. and then invite the person mm -hmm. to the conversation imagine that you are uh entrepreneur or I have a startup or or I have a business idea so I would suggest to build a high quality content mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. and to build a high quality content extremely important is to understand what is the need which you are which you are addressing by your product mm -hmm. there are you know some advanced strategies and very simple one which you can start with basically just gather all the questions which your potential or existing customers are asking mm -hmm. and just answer them mm -hmm. in a you know high quality manner, explain, focus on their needs, not on your mm -hmm. product, just answer as many questions as it's possible. Mm -hmm. you know? And these are, you know, this brings you to benefits. First, you got a, a, light, a, lot, a lot of content which is interesting for the customers. The second part is that Google 
love this kind of content, mm -hmm. you know, the answering questions. Like the original content that creates communities yeah, and creates exactly. value. How can I, what do you recommend, etc. Mm -hmm. These are the questions which are the most pre precious in terms of positioning mm -hmm. you as a company, you as mm -hmm. an expert. And while you start the answering process, you will realize that there are some patterns, there are some groups of questions which may require a bit more elaboration, work, etc. So you can create a live video, etc. Format is extremely important, but at the beginning, it's much more important to really understand how to mm -hmm. make the connection between you, between you and the customers. Mm -hmm. If your customers are people who are, you know, driving cars, maybe the audio format will be best for them. But the first is the idea what's the topic. Mm -hmm. If you create a map of topics and mm -hmm. you create a plan of you know, the, the content which you are going to produce, encourage you to really plan the work, mm -hmm. you know. If there is a blog in your mind, just think how much time you will need to prepare a mm -hmm. one blog post. Mm -hmm. And it's not like a 15 minutes, mm -hmm. believe me. Be conscious that content creation is not something which you are doing just in a coffee break. Mm -hmm. It needs time, it needs devotion. Mm -hmm. One article, takes me about five to six hours mm -hmm. to prepare. You know, it's like a almost one day incorporation. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Again, from my experience, the first results, the first, I would say, organic positioning from Google, I saw about six months after the mm -hmm. first article. Okay. And I was promoting it, I would say modestly, but you know, I, I, I got a pretty huge network mm -hmm. um, in social media, but again, it needs time. People mm -hmm. need to be, convinced that you are a bright guy, mm -hmm. but also that you are bringing the content in a regular way. Mm -hmm. This is very important. So the consistency is key exactly. here, right? In terms of frequency, in terms of the topics. Think about the customer first, you know, if you got a product and there is a customer which is asking you about the product, probably there are much more customers which will have the same questions and answering the questions in a form of blog, uh, video, uh, podcast, uh, whatever. It's a most precious part of content which you can produce with very limited budget, mm -hmm. you know? And then, then you can, uh, you know, advance to more, uh, let's say, branding strategies, etc. At the beginning, let the customer know mm -hmm. that you know their problems and you, know, you have idea how to address them. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you doing right now mm -hmm. and what's bothering you in terms of business? Yeah. Actually, right now I'm helping companies to build their B2B marketing uh, plans, strategies, deploy the tools, marketing automation, for example, social selling, etc. But actually, it happened. It's, it started with the blog. I started to sharing the knowledge uh, of B2B marketing, digital marketing, inbound marketing, focusing on B2B companies. And so you're using your own strategy, yeah. create content and then... Eat your food, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. then eat your food, right. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and uh, actually the, the story about the six months is my story, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, between the first article and the first, let's say, position in, in, in Google or first kind of contact with, com let's say, commercial contacts with mm -hmm. just some, some business offerings, it took me about six, maybe eight months mm -hmm. uh, and then... And you are a well-known expert in... This in the B2B zone, right? I was re recognizable, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, the, so the, the, the message is that you, you, you really need to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are some, some ex exceptions uh, fr from this rule, but basically, you know, market needs some time to really mm -hmm. uh, value what you say, to, 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 to trust you, etc. Mm -hmm. And you need to build a content repository, mm -hmm. which is then working as a snowball. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, the more content you, you adding, you know, the more recognizable you are. Uh, and it's easier to reformat the content, which mm -hmm. is also very And to important. recycle it, right? Exactly, yeah. It's very important because then the cost of creating new content is slightly uh, slower, lower than, than, than in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then people are just started to, to ask me about some advisor, advisory trainings, etc. So I realized there is a need on the market. I see what is the need of, of, of my customers. I think I understand them. So the best way to really make something valuable out of that is to start a new company and here i am mm -hmm. and right now you can we can or you can find more about Wukash kosuniak work on businessmarketed.pi right exactly it's out there. exactly so the last question uh it's my favorite one what do you think will be the biggest challenge in the next one or two years in terms of b2b selling and marketing automation mm -hmm. in in corporate world not yeah. in startup world the challenge and the goal 
is to build a one team out of sales and marketing teams, which uh, in, a, in a history they worked sometimes on different goals, sometimes even against each other. If you want to be in Avagarda, you, you, you need to unite the teams. Mm -hmm. So build a one team of people with different backgrounds, journalists, sales, Marketing. researchers, etc., marketers, but give them one goal mm -hmm. and make them work on, on, on one goal. Tools and methodologies are some, something which will help you, but the, the, the goal and, and willingness to, to really work together, I guess right now it's the biggest challenge for, for the teams. Okay, uh, thank you for for talk. Uh, that was a pleasure having you here. Uh, I Thanks hope that invitation. I hope that you'll enjoy all the great tips and histories shared by by Lukas and see you next week. Thank you.